Hi everyone! It's a book haul video! It's been about, like, I think almost a month since I did one last. Um, just wasn't feeling up to it last time, didn't, I had a lot on my plate already. Um, but I do have the books here that I got last time so that you can see them all beyond just the rewind and review post. Um, what's been going on these past two weeks? Let's see, I had fall break last weekend, um, which is really just like an extra day off from classes. Um, but that was a nice, a nice relaxing day, and then on Saturday we went shopping in the afternoon, um, and then Sunday we went to the horse park, Keeneland, and watched horse races, and which was really exciting because like, all my friends that I went with are in the equine program, so they were really into it. Um, let's see what else. Taylor Swift. The album's coming on Monday. I'm really excited, like, I'm not sure how I'm staying so calm right now. Um, she's released two songs each Monday for the past couple weeks, Out of the Woods and Welcome to New York, and Out of the Woods is amazing. And Welcome to New York is pretty good too, I can definitely see it like opening the tour. Um, but now let's get into the books I got. I'll start with, I'm just still going to go by category, but I'll tell you when it's from like last time and this time. Um, this book I got for review, I requested from the publisher, and they sent it for the last book haul. And it's This Side of Home by Renee Watson. Um, it's from Bloomsbury, so thank you. It was really cool because like, I sent in my request, and I got like a reply from a blogger friend who's interning for them, which is really cool. Um, this book, like, saw it during like, Bloomsbury's kind of like cover reveal grouping for their winter titles, um, and it sounded pretty cool, and so I decided to request it, and it doesn't come out until February, so I won't be reviewing it for just a couple months, um, but I'm really, really, I like it. And then this time, this week, I got two books for review. Um, I got a really cool ARC in my care package from my parents, it came from the bookstore, um, and a really cool packaging. Look at that. This is a really big art considering it's YA guys, but it's the Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Aveyard. <sighs> Pronunciations are not my things. It's not my thing. It's Saturday morning. I'm tired. But anyways. This one looks really cool. I've heard a lot of cool things about it, and I'm hoping it's good. It comes out, I think, a week after This Side of Home, so I'll be reviewing it same, like, when it gets closer. Um, and then this other book for review, I think I just got it Thursday or when, Wednesday or Thursday, but I've already read it, and my review is going up in just a couple weeks. And it's a finished copy, which is really fun, um, but it's The Princess Spy by Melanie Dickerson. She has this whole like historical fiction fairy tale retelling series, um, and it started with like one about Sleeping Beauty, and then Beauty and the Beast, and Snow White, and Cinderella, and this one is The Frog Prince. My favorites are definitely the first two though, so, but I'll tell you, you can see what I thought of this one. And then I also, past two weeks, traded for a book. On the YA Book Exchange, I traded my Ark of Talon since I didn't really like it and just felt like getting rid of it. But I got a book that I was very excited to read, and it's Stray by Alyssa Sussman. It's like um, about fairy godmothers and like a very patriarchal society, like where women aren't seen as like they're seen as like evil because they can do magic. Um, and it was really cool. Like, I surprisingly liked it. Like, a lot of people haven't been, but I did, um, like, four stars. And it provided an idea for a From the Bookshelf to the Kitchen post. So, I'm baking something related to this when I get home for Christmas. So, thank you to Stephanie for trading with me. And now, the books I won. Both of these came in last week's book haul. Um, this first one I won back in, like, I think July, um, A Wonderland of Reading, which is Kayla and Stacy. They had their blog anniversary, and I won an ebook of my choice. And so when Kayla, like, went to get it for me, she said, like, you know, the paperback's just going to be cheaper. Do you want that instead? 
And the paperback didn't come out until September 30th, but I was like, sure, because I always prefer physical over ebooks. I mean, ebooks are awesome, but I definitely prefer physical copies because I like holding something concrete in my hands. Um, but I got this and I read it, and it's The Bow by Jessica Martinez, which I haven't heard a lot about lately, um, or even like when it first came out. It's basically about these two best friends, Annie and Mo, and Mo is. Um, Jordanian. I mean, that's, he's from Jordan, basically. Um, and his father loses his job, so they're going to have to go back to Jordan. Um, but there's this whole thing about how, like, Annie proposes that they get married so that Mo can stay. But they don't really think everything through about marrying, like, so that he can get his green card and whatnot. So it's pretty interesting. And then the other book I won is I actually went straight from the publisher Little Brown for Young Readers and it's Famous in Love by Rebecca Searle. I think I guess her last name. Um, it's like contemporary, definitely a love triangle. Um, it's about this girl who gets kind of like plucked from obscurity to play the main character in this popular like adapt adaptation of, movie adaptation of a popular like YA series. Um, which is like made up series, but you can kind of get like where the influences come from. And it was fairly good. Um, not as good as I was hoping, unfortunately, but it's got a pretty cover. So that's cool. And now, the books I bought, which are specifically for this book haul. This first one, I was really, really excited about. And if you saw, like, I had a five minute video about when I unboxed this book. Because it was just so exciting to get it. Um, I've been waiting like, I think, seven months. Um, and it ended up being really good. There were some weaknesses, but it's a debut, so it was strong for a debut. And it's Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rausch. It's so pretty. Like, I can't stop staring at the cover sometimes. I'm glad to own a copy now. And then, last weekend, on Saturday when we went shopping, I went to Joseph Beth, and I had some money for my grandma, because she sent me a card, and so I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a book, because why not? And it was a really hard decision, like, there's a couple YA books I was deciding between, and then a couple middle grade, and I ended up going with this one, based on, like, a bookseller saying that she didn't think it was going to be that good, and then she read it, and she loved it, so I'm like, well, hopefully I'll feel the same way, and it's... Hook's Revenge by Heidi Schultz. Really cool illustrated cover. Like, it's, like, really pretty. Um, and I was really looking forward to this one, so hopefully I like it. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Um, I've been too busy with review books, and then I've also just kind of felt like I'm in the mood for some rereads. So, but I should, I'm planning to get to it pretty soon. So I think that's it for my book haul this week. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. And I will be hard, probably still hardcore fan growing over 1989 at that point, because why not? Bye!